Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna tackle another of these beginners video. You've been loving it so much, the previous one we've done so far. So today we need to tackle another of the very important products to use on a special effects. I have it all right here, I'm gonna show you just right now. And they are a very versatile and very kind of um, needed to be to have it on our kit if we are starting because they are giving us so much um, free freedom to do volume and to create effect. I'm talking about the cream products, the oil based product. Here I have different brands, I'm gonna show you really quick and I'm gonna explain you and use them on just later on in the video. So the first brand that I have is Ben 9. This is a very nice product. It has a relative medium price. They are not the prices brand, but also either are the cheapest, but they are really, really good. Consistency is a little harder, a little bit thicker, and a little bit dense to work with, but they are really highly pigmented. Next brand that I'm really in love with is Mac Pro. I'm gonna leave the name right here because it's no Mac, Mac that you may think about. It's a, a brand from Paris. It's a really great brand. I love this palette they have. They're really tiny and they come with a lot of different uh, colors. And the texture is very, very creamy and versatile. It can be used a, as a cream color to use it as any type of um, creation you wanna do. But also they work really good as a blushes, as the eyeshadows, as a lipstick, as a uh, eye product, as any type of um, makeup use you may want to use. They work really good and I love the texture of this product. I really, really love it. Next brand is Graftovian. This is a Spanish brand. They are a quite good product. They are not so widely uh, sold all over the world, but if you can grab some um, Graftovian products, I'll suggest it and I'll recommend it to you to use them. They're really nice. They are something between the previous um, Ben 9 and the Mac Pro texture is something between. It's not that hard as the Ben 9, but it's not that soft as the Pancro either. They are a little bit sweaty, as you can see. And that's one of the things that I don't like about the cream colors. I don't like to be sweated. And that's something that may uh, alter a little bit in the long run the texture of the product. Just have that in mind. Next, of course, I have to talk about Krylan. This is a well-known worldwide um, brand for their uh, cream product. They're called Supra Color. I have this uh, palette which can be customized. They sell it individually in this little pan with their little um, lid on top and they can be built in into uh, any palette that you want to create your own palette. These are very versatile product, but they're really good. I don't, I don't actually have many um, cons of this product, apart that also the sweat, and that's something I don't like in the cream products, but they're really good. They are um, very stiff on the texture, but once you blend it with your finger or with a little warmth, it blends really nice and really nicely. So it stays on, it stays on the pan quite stiff, but they work really good. They blend really nice. And the last one, of course, it has to be my loved one, the one that I use the most. They are the Mecca Forever 12 uh, Flash Palette. These are amazing products. They are the best cream colors I've used Ever. They're also uh, the priciest of all, but let me remind you we have 12 colors in here and they are 100 euros each of them, but they last a really long time. You need the tiniest amount to create the fit that you want. You have been seeing me use both of these palettes a ton on my tutorials and also the white and black, they are almost done, but I have bought the stick version because they also come with the basic colors in a stick version, thicker, longer and bigger in size, so you can refill the palette if you want. They don't sweat, as you can see, they are amazing. They are the creamiest and more pigmented product you ever find, the easiest to blend the more long run they will give you and a part of that there are the, the other brands that are really good too what i like of this in particular this palette is the versatile colors that we have in here we don't have the classic green red blue yellow ones we have something different we had something to work actually more organically into the skin we have uh, purples and khakis and beige and 
powdered pinks and powdered roses and things that really work to create effects on the skin that will really actually match to what actually will happen in our skin so I really like this palette to create more special effects or char character type of effects and this one is a little more versatile type of a uh, all over color that you find in many other brands but I love them both of them so now that we have talked about the products talked about the brands let's just zoom in into the table and let's share how I use this product, the tricks and tips, and also the few things that you need to know to actually have all the potential out of these products. The products are oily based and they blend really well. This is how they look. So it's gonna show you how to use them. You can use them blended really nice into the skin. They really blend easily, mostly with your finger. Can be blended also with the brush. I'll show you later on the video. But it works really good to blend with your finger. Here I'm using different brands and you'll see the most of them, they look pretty similar. They might differ in um, pigmentation and intensity, but most of them, they blend really, really well. So once they are blended like that, they don't stain. As you can see now on the tissue, they don't stain. But this is not the case in every single time we use them. Now let me show you how they work just with the brush. They take a little longer time to blend because they don't have the warmth of your finger, but they blend also really well. Even though they are really blending, they can still work together and create different shades and still don't stain. You'll see also you can mix uh, different brands and different colors to create different shades. And of course some of them they will uh, actually work differently because they have more pigmentation like the Cryolan versus Graftobian, um, but it still can work together and change it everything, all the colors and create new, one, new ones with the one that you have, that's very versatile. And if we change brush, uh, we will have one side almost something very similar as we have uh, created so far, blending really well and stay, still done stain. But if we start adding more product and work less the product, then is when things change and they stain. So. If you create just a line, a pure line like that, with more color, more product in it, it will stain and it won't dry, it won't set, set it down, it will stay like that until you remove it. So the way to work it is work really well the product into your skin, work it harder, longer, and that you will create a more settled finish. Still workable, still blendable, but doesn't stain when you touch it but it blends really nicely, as you can see. So, right now, with this workout, it doesn't uh, stain, but now let's make it a more direct so um, demonstration. I'm gonna be creating leaves, and I'm gonna be using, in some of the leaves, more kind of product, like the wrong way to use it, but the more common way to use it. And the way that I'm telling you, which is working more the product, using less in quantity, and blend it really nice into the skin and when we do the tissue sample you'll see what the stains is the area we add too much product so the thing is it's still movable still really creamy even if it don't stain still can be take it off so the way to actually make it stain and don't blur is to set it with translucent powder translucent powder won't change the finish and won't change the color the look it stays on. Remember the patch we had that was really movable and really stained? I set it with powder and look how it looks now. Now we're gonna be adding a little bit of ton of product on top. The one that I say don't do it because if they stain and also they move. Look what we have what happened if we set it with translucent powder. It doesn't move. That's the right way to use it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you explained a lot of what this product can offer you and why to use it and when to use it and how to use it. 
and all of that jazz i hope you enjoy it you'll find the list of the product that i've been showing you in this video on the bar below as always and you'll find there also another links for all the tutorials that you may find interesting also to watch as always i would like really appreciate if you give thumbs up to this video if you liked it and of course share it to social media for all my people can see it and enjoy it and start working with this product also i'm gonna ask you to leave me a comment with tell me whatever the look you want me to do or product you want me to explain and use and all of that and well as always here you have directly subscribe to this my special effect maker channel 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 there you have the previous tutorial and my social media and as always thanks so much for spending some time with me be happy see you next one bye